come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Well, hello again, Hi. and Hi. welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome aboard the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We talk about movies right here every Saturday, and, other things. and we hope wherever you found us, if you'll be kind enough to leave us a star rating or a thumbs up or uh, so give us a review even if you found us on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, Google Play. Or wherever you found us, because that uh, helps us move up through the, uh, the 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 lists, and other people like lists. yourself yeah. will find us. We want to move up the lists. <clears throat> yeah, right. those lists. We appreciate you if you Moving have done that up. already. That's right. Yeah. List, Santa's list, all the lists. <laughs> Schindler's list. We want to move up. Schindler's <laughs> list. <laughs> we want to be at the top of all these lists. That's right. In our quest for total and complete world domination, you can help us achieve this dream. That was good. I forgot about that list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so uh, these are the internet radio superstars you'll be hearing from: Sean, Holly, Michaela, and I'm Colin. And uh, what we do, we watch a movie that's chosen round robin by one of us each week. And tonight, the movie was chosen by Michaela. <laughs> Michaela. <laughs> Michaela. That one. <laughs> what did we watch tonight? We watched I Know Who Killed Me. Uh, from the year 2007. And directed by. Oh, hold on. Chris Silverston. <laughs> Silverston. Yeah, okay. that guy. That we guy. all know him, right? That guy was, that guy, yeah, right. Yeah, that guy was Silverston. He's just like, who's the director of this movie? Silverston. My name is Silverston. Silverston. Oblivion. Yeah. Uh, do we know him from anything else? No. Okay. This I is the only thing he's ever done? Well, he's done other things, but nothing of note. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But the writer, Jeff oh. Hammond, this is the first and last screenplay he that ever was wrote. My next, that was my next question. I was like, who wrote this? If you go to his IMDb, only credit. Nothing else. Oh. Literally the only thing on his IMDb is writing this movie. I know who wow. killed me, and it was me. Wow. <laughs> With my own I writing. know who killed my career. Oh. I me. did. <laughs> Well, speaking of killed careers, uh, mm. this movie stars star, yeah. <laughs> L- Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan, mm-hmm. our star first of- Lindsay Lohan feature on the Freak Show. <laughs> Is it really? It's gotta be. Well, well she's I mean, got some doozies what? though, man. It's gotta be. Uh, yeah. I, what else in your filmography qualifies for a Freak Machete? Show viewing? Uh, uh, that's true. Uh, that's no, true. Yeah. That's too. That's, true. that's too on Liz the and nose. Dick. Liz and Dick would be prime freak show material. Her, her playing Elizabeth Taylor. I don't know though. That's insane. That's a lifetime movie. That's a whole but, new uh, ball game. It's bonkers. <laughs> whole new ball game. Next now, level bonkers. I can see us having like a sideshow mm-hmm. where we do bad lifetime movies because mm-hmm. that would be fun uh, as hell. That's the I mean, best there's one. A, there's a podcast that does that. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a few because there's a lot of yeah. material to choose from. Like that, oh, that'd yes, be fun but, as hell. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yeah, freak show wise, I don't know. Oh, she was also in Chapter Twenty Seven, the movie about. Oh, that's right. Jared Leto getting really fat and killing yeah, John uh, Judge oh, yeah. <laughs> Chapman. Uh, what's his name? Yeah. Chapman. Mark David Chapman. There Mark it is. David. Yeah. Mark David Chapman. Yeah. That well, and that was a very small independent movie as well. So yeah, yes, that's mm-hmm. Fat Leto. Mm-hmm. In that movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she was going through her rough patch during the making One of, of her this film. Many rough patches. Oh, what was yeah. the, she so, the Kennedy movie? Bobby. Uh, yes. Yes. She, she was. was. Bobby. Yep. That's all right, all right. after this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that was the Emilio Estevez. Mm-hmm. Her claim yep. to fame was, uh, was what, Freaky, Freaky Friday? Was Freaky Friday, Friday, the parent trap was before and this, Herbie. and Mean Girls were all before this. So, and, and Herbie Fully Loaded was before oh, this as right, well. Right, right, yep. right. But all of those were decently sized hits. I mean, mm-hmm. Lindsay Lohan yeah. was a uh, up-and-coming star, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden the career imploded. What was the movie right before this? Well... I don't know what was I right before this, but she, right like, before this. she had her foot in with some big star. Like, she did a Meryl Streep movie. She did a movie with Jane Fonda. Like, she had some big movies. Prairie Home Companion. That's what it was. Prairie Home yeah. Companion. Yeah. Prairie Home Companion yeah. was right before this. And um, Georgia Rule with that was Jane it. Fonda yeah. was right before right. this. Yeah. Right. yeah. So she was, yes. Yeah, so, and then went right to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, she was in and out of jail and out of rehab. Um, notoriously difficult to work with on this yes. movie of all movies was like, some of the worst, I guess. She uh, would just not show up some days, show up several hours late, show up hungover or drunk, and just gen- just be a horrible just person a to work wreck. with. Yeah, pulling a pulling a Marilyn, if you will. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. unfortunately. Yeah, 
And actually, she was in in and out of jail and rehab so much towards the end. That and the, did you guys notice her face looked a little weird at the climax of this movie, like towards the end? I noticed her face looked, looked weird, weird throughout, throughout the movie. Well, yeah, yeah, but like her lips looked especially different towards the end because that's a body double with her face CGI'd on what? it. Shut so up! I read what? that. And yeah. I was gonna look out Shut for that. up! <laughs> you can really tell when she's looking down into the glass like coffin at her because like just the, like there's some weird shading on her face. I mean, really wrong. though, like yeah. the, her makeup and all that shit, it, her face was so bad throughout all mm-hmm. this like I didn't even notice she looks like she's 50 years old in this movie yeah. like she and looks like know she... how to apply makeup yeah yeah, yeah. yeah the, oh god it's the, the, the cinematographer artist. or something I mean like the lighting it's, it's really awful. awful and the fact that and we kept on saying that throughout the entire movie her hands are like stained red yeah mm-hmm. and, and yeah. Holly's like it's a body bronzer or whatever that's what you get Cause but, she, yeah because she was all about the self tanner so yeah. I figured it was but I think you were right I think it's blood like fake From blood the stain scenes, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah they I just couldn't is. wash it off. It's like, yeah. oh, you're doing that scene in the morning with the blood all over, and tonight we'll do the other scene. It's like, why are her hands yeah. like bright fucking red? It's a metaphor, Colin. <laughs> Speaking of which, all right, so what is this? Well, first of all, so Michaela you know, says she's bringing this movie with these uh, intriguing, uh, uh, she had an intriguing way of uh, addressing it. What did you say that, uh, <laughs> that this movie was inspired oh, by? Oh, this is like, uh, the, well, the director is like very inspired by Suspiria and David Lynch. And this is like the most low rent grasping at those basic ideas that those filmmakers employ to like, I don't know. It, it, it He's clearly, it's, it feels like a student project of someone who loves those, those filmmakers, but knows nothing about making mm-hmm. a film because specifically yeah. Mulholland drive, Mulholland is, drive, the, especially the Lynch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. only because yeah. of the blue flower and the blue key and the blue, you know, well, and just the random inserted blue. scenes that don't seem to make any sense that don't really add up. Like mm. there's a lot of scenes in this movie that you could cut out cause they add absolutely nothing. And I think they're just meant to just be there and be jarring and be weird. And so pointless. you love this movie, Colin, right? <laughs> well, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait, listener, until the end of the broadcast when we do our final wrap up, so we tell you what we actually think. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, on the other side of Igor's mailbag, mm-hmm. so stay tuned for that. Mm-hmm. So, um, okay, so are we gonna assume that the um, listener has seen this movie to talk about it in yes. all of the? Okay. I mean, we have, I mean, not, we have to. We can't talk around sure. it. <clears throat> no, we can't talk around it. But yeah, I'm no. gonna assume they yeah. just want us to talk about it, and they're like, "Yeah, that's that's the thing." Yeah, they like, probably didn't see it. see it, but you have to know I that we're gonna tell you everything. <laughs> like, yeah, no, they're just like, "Oh, I was wondering about that movie." The well, movie's we'll been out for ten years at this point. Yeah, like yeah, you know, because we years. just watched it. Now we're gonna try and decipher it. So that's mm-hmm. basically yeah. the state of mind that we want you to be in. Yeah, and I mean, let's be real. Michaela's the only one of us that had seen it. That's true. Yeah. And she's probably the only eyes. one of you who have seen it. No, there's still there's got to be fans of this out there somewhere. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. Well, well, not well, fans, but well, it's fans. sitting at a seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So <laughs> not fans, but viewers. What what yeah. awards did this movie uh, win? Victims. It broke the Razzie record that it, it was. Uh, it beat Showgirls and uh, Battlefield Earth. Uh, <laughs> there, it beat both of their Razzie records. For the most uh, most nominations and wins. Didn't Lindsay Lohan win like two? She won two. For each character that she plays. <laughs> oh, bravo. <laughs> bravo. Wow, I didn't know that was possible. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they'll, they'll yeah, make this a combination. Best picture winner, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> best Razzie picture winner. Wow. I didn't actually think that she did that bad of a job, to tell you the truth. Like, I, some of the stuff is like, you know, the writing, some of it is the direction. Some of it is just, you know, the way that it's edited and all that. But, like, was she actually bad? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. compared to yeah. her previous In work, it's terrible. Parts, yeah. yeah. Yes. This is, is, her, is this, like, her first, the well, I mean, you're, you're saying it. that the uh, the Prairie Home Companion, that was prior to this? Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so this isn't, like, her before. first adult role. This is where, is this the, the phase in her career where she's trying to move from teen movies into... Well, definitely, yeah. She's trying to move to more mature content for sure, but, like... Go with a more expensive, mature content. Mm-hmm. You know, don't don't go with someone who's never written a screenplay before. Right. Well, there <laughs> had to be something intriguing about it that all these people. Well, MTV these people, put a lot of money into this. Did movie. they? They backed this movie. They backed this. They. Hardcore. I remember when this movie came out. Every commercial break on MTV was like a behind the scenes look at them making this movie. Oh, this your was lord. Supposed, yeah. Because this was supposed to be like her big comeback to get her out of like she because she had a really bad reputation at this point in time, and so this was trying to like course correct her and so mtv like you know they're like well, we'll back this horse you know because she brings in a lot of money to movies and it was constantly behind the scenes and it was like so provocative and like people thought it was crazy that like this disney actress was doing a strip scene in a movie but like if they had actually seen this movie they'd realize that that strip scene was like 
No, she hardly moved. Like she hardly she got moved. One move. Yeah, <laughs> she leaned. Back. Yeah, she leaned, leaned against the pole. Yeah. yeah. But again, I wonder if that's her performance and like what she studied, or that's what the director wanted to see and said, like, no, no, do it like this. This is what I really like. And well, you're like, considering she was <laughs> oh, drunk and okay. hungover most that. of the time she was there, I don't think it was a director choice. Like yeah. considering she was. You know, I don't think fairly he functional, yeah. I don't think the director helped in this movie. I mean, if you think about it, the people making this movie are relatively inexperienced and they're getting to work with her with at the time she was a big deal. So like you're probably she probably kind of got to run the show a little bit, right. you know, cuz they're like probably free to tell her no. Yeah, like it's definitely her choice, like I'm sure she I imagine she picked this script. It's like, "No, I want to do this movie." Like mm. she was mm-hmm. all for this movie. Uh I mean, essentially, because she gets to kind of play two characters in this movie. Yeah. Because she's never done it before. Uh, she's only done it. She's only done it twice before. Like, oh, I can, I can do that. Yeah. She probably someone just said. So I've got this script. There's twins, and she's like, I'm in. I'm yeah. in. Lindsay Lohan. Anybody, that's who you think yeah. of. Is there anybody who's ever made a career of just playing twins in movies all the time? <laughs> just constant twin movies. That would be great. The Olsons? No, they played one character. Um, okay, I mean, so you know what? You're uh, right. They did because for a long time <laughs> they had that VHS series. Yeah. Well, oh, they, that's they right. had a lot yeah. of movies. Yeah, but they, they were just themselves, yeah. and they are twins. So, so, they so did. yeah. Well, All right. So, what is this movie about? This thing that we watched. What? What? <laughs> what's question. the? Uh, what are we? What are we about here? So, if we can't answer this question, can we go forward in this podcast? <laughs> is that possible? I think I got it. I think okay. I, I think as we were watching it, I was reading the movie as it was intended to be. Scene until the end where I think there's a scene missing. We'll get there. So <laughs> I could be wrong <laughs> because that does kind of color everything that came before it. So all right. Mm. So what's this about? We got well. I know that like in within the first like ten minutes of the movie, which is usually where a movie kind of establishes its intention. This is what it's going to be about. I was sitting there going like, when are we? We're circling something, but we haven't actually. There's no. Uh, the the dr- dramatic drive has not been installed yet mm-hmm. right. in the movie. What's happening? And there's just all these bunches of scenes where you get to know these character characters. I don't know if they did install it in this movie. Yeah, eventually we figure out what the movie's about. What the plot? The plot sure. is it's uh there's a, a killer uh attacking a, a small town mm-hmm. and killing young women. Uh, well, at least one other young woman yep. is yeah. found, goes missing and is found, and she's found like with amputated body parts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Lindsay Lohan is a student in high school or college. We're not sure. It's hard to tell because, like I said, she looks fifty five in this movie, and <laughs> I, um, you know she looks I like she's hard and put away. What? So based on the football game, I would say it's high school. Uh, what could it be college? Uh, college. Okay. What could okay. be college? Yeah. yeah. It could be community it. colleges don't have football games like right. that. Yeah, I mean we don't really know. There's no, there's nothing to establish one way or another what school it, level it is. Well, wow. uh-huh. sorry, we're really, think, we're really thinking about this. I, I, I think high school. I think high school. All right, we'll go with high school. Right? Wait, didn't she say at some point like, "Well, I won't even be here in January." Yeah, so, like, she's she's going to Yale or whatever. Uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah. Well, right, I mean, she'll she be still be going from community away. college to. You know, she could be, think, but, but it to me it screamed high school. Mm-hmm. Well, right. she looks too old for high school. Oh, I'm not saying it was it was the right <laughs> choice. I'm just saying. <laughs> and, they, and they do make the thing about your ID says 21, so it says you're 21. Oh, so she yeah. wouldn't be 21. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. High well, school. she could still be community college and not be 21. That's very yeah. true. So <laughs> there's evidence we'll for both know. sides here. Well, she, uh, Lindsay Lohan's character, of course, goes missing. Uh, and then we see scenes of her being tortured kind of graphically, like it was surprising. I thought I was like, gee, Jesus Christ. Yeah. It was going dry ice. the, uh, the, yeah, Ugh. dry ice to, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I thought it's fr- excessive frostbite to her hands and yeah. then yeah. peels the skin up. Yep. Oh yeah. That Chops was pretty gross. Yeah. With his custom made blue, uh, you know, his, his hand glass. blown glass yeah. swords and knives. Yeah. That's right. This is the killer we're talking about. It doesn't seem like they'd be that sturdy. No, I know they look very the fragile. They look very fragile. And yeah. he didn't have grips on them. No. No, he had no. some like some shit tied around them and everything, but nothing too like great. Like I feel no. like the pressure of trying to yeah. cut someone's yeah. fingers off would break that shit. You would think. Yeah, yeah they, think. they, they look very delicate. No, they look very delicate. Chatter. We didn't see his whole process. We only saw a little bit of the glass yeah, making, so we don't know. That's true. <laughs> How get far he takes it by the end. It's like a fucking three foot long blade that's got edges. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and don't that know. one had like um like hugs. a curly handle on it. Yeah. You know, like he had that like curly handle on that one, like a like a 
ergonomic handle almost that you mm. made out of glass. It was, I don't know. These yeah. are clues to the killer's identity. No, I don't know if they're... But oh, eventually she resurfaces. Right. Oh, yeah. This movie's color coded. I think that's also part of the way that you have to read this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lindsay, Lo- There's a blue Lindsay Lohan. And then eventually she's found, mm-hmm. right, with the amputee or amputations already taking place. And when she wakes up in the hospital, she doesn't recognize anybody. And she's insisting that she's another character mm-hmm. named Dakota. So the mm-hmm. first one's Aubrey. Mm-hmm. And the second one is Dakota. Yep. And Dakota then sets out trying to figure name, out. By the way, right? She Dakota is a stripper. Later. And Dakota mm-hmm. sets out to try and figure out who killed me. Which she thinks. <laughs> <is, yeah. laughs> she comes to the conclusion. Everybody's calling me Aubrey. This Aubrey girl is like my son, my twin, and she was murdered by this guy. Uh huh. But somehow I was abducted. <laughs> Okay, but, sawed into but we should preface that it takes a fucking long time to get to that. That's like three-fourths of the way through the movie yeah. to figure out all that information. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, they're not helping us. It is intercut there. with random scenes for no reason, like Lindsay Lohan making eyes at the gardener at a rich ass house and then him jerking off a piece of wood in front of her. This and nothing is, uh, leads to nothing. But it's, it's red hair. Set up a red hair. Yeah. 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 He drives stuff. by later but on. But he's not. Is he's he the a, yeah. killer? I mean, yeah. And all the red herrings are, well, they're blue herrings, I guess, right? Because they're all blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this, this blue herring, I get what they were doing, but Michaela and I were talking about it. And the point is. Why the fuck this guy? Why? Yeah. He had a fucking nipple tattoo of a fucking scorpion. <sighs> uh, I just, I just was don't that blue? know. No. No, it was oh, okay. black. It was a okay. big black nipple tattoo. Yeah. It was awful. So we don't know the color coding there. No. Well, and I think that, you know, the, the mom has a hairless cat that has a blue <laughs> collar. And like the hairless cat, <laughs> it's just being weird to be weird. Well, I know. I think the hairless cat is to kind of cast him down on the mom because the way she holds it when she's talking, looking in the mirror, reads very much like a villain of a movie. Mm. So I think that's to like it's another blue herring. I don't mm. know. Wh- I don't know why this would be a thing, but I think there's some correlation between the nipple tattoo guy and then the fact that the guy from the bus later on has a chest tattoo. I feel like there's some connection there. That damn, I thought you were gonna relate it to the cat. Oh no! <laughs> this is, this no. And <clears throat> this is why the nipple tattoo relates to the cat's no uh, bald balls that are right <laughs> yeah. The there's naked cat testicles. Naked in this movie. cat, yeah. like it's a couple just, times. It's just it's right unsettling. There. It's yeah. there, man. It's right there. It's very distracting. Anytime that cat mm-hmm. is in a scene, it is incredibly distracting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> naked cats. Yeah. yeah. But this is, I mean, the whole movie's kind of weird in its telling because it's trying to do, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of scenes where we can't tell if what we're seeing is objective reality or if it is some kind of like fantasy Mm. sequences. She gets the stigmata, right? Like she starts (laughs) bleeding from parts of her According to (laughs) ask.com. What does she Google or what does she ask, Sean? It is, what is it? uh, Bleeding wounds unexplained? (laughs) Yes. Which I asked. Yeah, Ask. we, we tested it, guys. We tested it on about Ask.com. the seventh one down, there was stick motto. So it, it, it's, it, it checks there. out. It checks out. But she also has dreams in which uh, blue rose petals fall off and fall into a mirror and, you know, then mm-hmm. into a stream and run down the stream. And mm-hmm. so it's all very like. So there's a lot of reflections mm-hmm. in this movie, right? I mean, like, there, there is, like, key imagery, I guess, that it's trying to tell the actual. Uh, well, I don't know about the actual story. Yeah, I suppose the actual story. What's going on? Can we just are we just talking yeah. about that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, initially, it sets up a bunch of scenes where she's with this piano teacher, and she's been in uh, what was the she won young some, artist, young artist, the most award. generic sounding award ever. Okay, but she wants to throw all this away because she wants to be a writer. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's her dream. And she's going to go off to talent. college. And you have do a this. natural gift. Yeah, says her teacher. And we know she's a writer because, as Sean pointed out, she has post-it notes for the three-act structure on her bedroom wall. <laughs> Proof. Proof. Because <laughs> that's what writers that's do, what right? Writers that's do. what the guy who wrote this did, and then he's like, "Well, then I'm just going to put this in the that's movie." How I did right. It, you know? I wish it had said three-act structure above <laughs> one, two, three in her room. It did. I'm sure it fell off during production. Probably. <laughs> Well, there's a lot what did of, the post-it uh, notes say? Like, dream harder or something? Yeah. Like, yeah, so like, what do they great. all say? I need to know. <laughs> I feel like they were probably all just, like, sayings off of motivational posters. I'm the had to have been. Or oh. it's like what the what the tattoo guy in the bus says later in this movie. Everyone gets that cut. It keeps coming back. People yeah. get cut. That's life. Yeah. And stuff oh, like okay. platitudes like cut. that. You got cut. People get cut. 
That's yeah. life. Yep. Then she wakes up from this dream and immediately says this like it's her mm-hmm. mantra. Mm-hmm. Mantra. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yep. Should have been on the poster, mm-hmm. like you said. Yeah. Instead, the tagline is: life. "There are two sides to every crime." That makes no sense. Oh. Nope. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Doesn't so, apply to this movie. God, I want to throw that thing in the wall. <laughs> but there's a lot of, as far as the coding goes, there's a lot of scenes, or a lot of shots early on, which establishes like her hands on the keyboard, her mm-hmm. feet on the pedals, and then when she's uh, writing, mm-hmm. there's her fingers on the keyboard, and her it shows what her feet are doing yeah. to mirror like this is the same thing that's going on. I mm-hmm. guess right. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There was a number of scenes of hands mm-hmm. on keyboards. The director has a fetish. And also the color blue we were talking about. It's but like, so saturated, too. Uh, Aubrey wears blue mm-hmm. uh, nonstop. The killer wears blue gloves. Um, there's blue, like, I mean, it was everywhere. The tools like are the, blue. The glass yeah. is blue. Blue roses. Mm-hmm. Blue roses. Blue stained glass. Mm-hmm. Blue flashes and when they're going back and forth between scenes and everything. Half but the time rooms are just hues. lit blue. Yeah. yeah. All blue, <laughs> yeah. blue lighting. But primarily when we're talking about Aubrey, Aubrey, right? Whenever we're talking about Dakota, Dakota is it's like red. foreshadowed by red flashes, and like the lighting always is like red, blue, and then red. Yeah. Then she starts wearing. I think she starts off with a red top and blue pants, that eventually goes to one hundred percent red. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Clothing, so it's like okay. So. Yep. Did you guys notice? <laughs> well, this? I'm just like, do we? Do we oh, sorry. Oh, did you notice this? The neon at the strip club, like mm-hmm. the hand and the foot went out in the light. No, I didn't, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. 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 oh, I hate you, film <laughs> <writers>. <laughs> He and thought this out. And when the I, psychologist was taking notes, he did Dakota in red ink and Aubrey mm-hmm. in blue. Mm-hmm. Well, I noticed the sign <sighs> of the strip club was blue and red, but I didn't yeah, notice the, the foot. Right, because yeah. it's yeah. a solid woman, but yeah. then the feet move and the hands move. Yeah. And so yeah. it's cut like right here yeah. and then at the legs. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Yeah, they go out on one side of her body. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Uh, Guys, they really put effort into that's, that. They're like, hey, hey, you awake? Yeah. This is what we're doing with this movie. They put yeah. effort into that, but then there was a sticker in her bedroom that just said live music. <laughs> yeah. I love live music. Yeah. I hope I, there was I a mean, band. <laughs> is there a band just music? called live music? It should be. If that's not, great. we should take that. That's yeah. great. Copyright 2017, Rachel. Yeah. Live music playing Friday. At the, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we're called live music. Now, did we ever establish. Who's first? Did we ever establish um, yellow? Because the. The fucking guy with the, the physical her, therapist. The physical therapist. He was wearing yellow. Her boyfriend's car was yellow. Her house was yellow. Mm-hmm. I feel like yellow had something, but I don't know what. Neutral. Is that what it is? Is that just neutral? Felt, yeah, felt I neutral think so. until we can figure out some other meaning. That yeah, they I've had. got nothing for the neutral. yellow. No, no I don't yeah. either. But I'm, I didn't either. I was just like, I feel like they thought it had something, yeah. but I don't know. Because it's a bright why. yellow. Yeah. It's, not, it's like. The fucking bright mm-hmm. yeah. neon yellow. And, like the dude's wearing like a yellow jacket and then a yeah. yellow shirt. And yeah. he's all yellow. So well, he's yeah. never, Meaning. he is never really put in a light where you would suspect him of being the killer. So yeah. he's like a trustworthy, mm-hmm. you're right? House what, is the home. That's what I was saying. Does guy, it mean like safety? I, Does I, that I, what maybe, that means? Maybe. Yeah, Even for the know. weird boyfriend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was weird, he but wants he, wasn't, sex. he wasn't like, yeah. I don't know. Evil, I guess. She gets these amazing prosthetics at some point. Which, wow. Amazing. Oh, these are fantastic because it's like a robot hand. I mean, you know, I mean, it it's literally like a straight is a robot up hand. Luke Skywalker robot hand that we're going to put like a, a flesh glove over it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's yep. got. Uh, uh, don't say flesh glove. Ever again. <laughs> that, no, <it's, laughs> I don't want to hear that anymore. It sounded so wrong. Flesh glove. The flesh flesh glove. glove. It would have been better if she had. 9 like, uh, oh. fucking. <laughs> yeah. It would have been better if she had the fucking claw from uh, Jared Sin. Ball. Uh, <laughs> just a fucking claw. Comes I know, out. right? If that would have been better. If I lose a limb, I'm hoping that I get something I awesome like that. I will make sure you get that. Claw. No, no, this is what he wants. Right? These, are his, <laughs> these are his wishes. This is what needs to happen. I uh, wish he just. Who are you, sir? I'm his proxy. This is what he yeah, wants. Yeah, I was okay. like, there's documentation. I'll show it to you later. Just give him the fucking arm. Yep. I we wish she just would have wore the bear robot hand and not the flesh. Yeah, that would have cost that much money. Yeah, that would have been so much more interesting, though. That, oh, and her, her, she doesn't understand that her strength of her grip yet. Mm-hmm. She crushes her boyfriend's hand. It's she's got super strength you can crush in her every bone hand. in your hand. <laughs> she also has a battery powered foot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, I don't think they exist. I don't, that's not how that works. <laughs> I am waiting it's for all anybody to balls. explain it's to all, me it's why all balls. it yeah. needs a battery. I was yeah. waiting. Why they keep going back to it? Like it's. I was waiting for it to run out. 
and then her like the physics of it to not make sense where she has to drag her leg. I yeah, thought that was started, happening. What I, they yeah. started to allude to that. I wanted yeah. like I wanted them to be a little more heavy handed with that where yeah, she's yeah. got to like drag the fucking thing because yeah. the battery ran yeah, out. I'm like gonna, this doesn't that's if, not how that works. If you're gonna make it that obvious, you might as well just go for <laughs> it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Like, you need to go a little farther with that yeah. if that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, she yeah. she consistently throughout this movie forgets to charge her robot. Like we even see a part where it's propped up against her bedroom wall, plugged into the wall like a she, fucking cell phone. She was yeah. just like I keep forgetting to charge it. Night. Yeah, she literally that's the, that is a line from this movie. We are not exaggerating. She literally says that. Well, because we were. Yeah. I mean, they answer. I give it to them. They answer the question like, why does she? Why isn't she wearing the leg right now when yeah. she comes down on the crutches? It's like I keep forgetting to plug it in. <laughs> yeah. like, All right, there it is. And it just takes a regular USB charger. Right. Apparently, what does it plug stop it right the wall. doing? Yeah. I, I like know. I said, I'm waiting for you to tell me what. It's got a little LED screen there. that tells you the battery charge too. Uh, it does, it, yeah. and it beeps whenever. Uh, mm-hmm. I thought that was going to become a plot point, like that the beeping it might be alert, hiding, but, and it would yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. 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 No, nope. I was thinking the same thing because oh. I think it starts beeping like low battery yeah. when she's going into the yeah, killer's that's lair what I later thought. on. Yeah. That's but that doesn't pay fucking off. Fucking thing of LED lights that make her look like she's part like like data. Mm-hmm. Like if they ever open up data on Star Trek, he's got all the fucking lights yeah. on him. That's what that looks like. No. So what was okay. the point of any of it? None of it had a payoff. That was probably her ankle None of bracelet it. from real That's life. That's what I was thinking. Working yeah. into the costume. That's what I was thinking. Probably. Oh, that was exactly shit. what I was in thinking. Case you saw a light. There probably was a light there. on her ankle. You're just like, oh yeah, that's her <laughs> robot foot. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. That's funny. Uh, Oh, you know, and that would only true. happen with Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. All right, so so are you under the impression, by the time that you're done watching this movie, that she actually did, like, the, 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 the resolution that's put forward, that she has a twin sister, that her dad conspired to keep... Mm, uh, no. You're n- okay, so you don't believe this. I did. There's nothing to prove that the ending is true. Nobody else sees that other person but her. Wait, okay. Well, at what point did you? Was there any point where you were like, okay, this is this is where they're going with it? I mean, besides when you actually saw the twin. No, because I didn't. Nothing led me to believe this is what was going to happen until we like until she goes to dig it up and there's a coffin there. See, because as soon as she confronted um, Aubrey's dad, I was like, okay, well, this really is what's happening. Like, she really but has see, a twin. Now, but even now, his responses are like, you could read those two ways. I mean, they, they're they not, they're very non committal in what he's saying because she's confronting him saying, basically, you know, m- your wife couldn't have a kid. You bought two daughters off of some meth addict and you kept one of them. The other one, you know, eventually grew up and that's Dakota. Right? Yeah. This is what they're no, saying. No, this is what they're I saying. Thought, I thought yeah. she but, got one. The other one yeah. was Dakota. Well, see, that's what I thought, too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then somehow they both got involved with this killer, and one of them, you know, so she's like, I got to save your daughter. And so she's mm-hmm. interrogating him, like, what? You know, tell the truth about this. And he's like, I can't. And he says, I'm sorry at some point. And he, you know, he says all these things that you could read, like, he is admitting, but right. it's he very also says, I should have believed you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the things that kind of throw it off, and I guess lean toward Holly's uh, the way that you took the mm-hmm. the end of this they, movie that it was re- that she really did have a twin. But sister. nobody really, it's <clears throat> nobody's like they're confident in that assertion that this is what's happening. Like I don't get that from this movie. How like, do you explain the ultrasound then? That there's only one baby. Well, mm-hmm. that's from the has, mother. If yeah, I don't. But, but if I don't, he right. bought the daughter. He said he, some he would have had that's shit what I'm saying. Where did the she, she really was kids. pregnant, mm-hmm. and then her child died. He would have had that's to have gone thing, and got yeah. two kids from her, right? Is, like, but this was covered in the one omen, kid. so this is this has happened before, right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he only got one kid. Yeah, but he left the other one ex- with, the, with the cricket. But how does that explain the other one? Like, he just got the one kid, and the other kid stayed with yes. her? Yes, yeah. yeah. He went because Dakota said her mom was a crack addict, and that's okay. how she died. Mm-hmm. He bought the twin from her. That's why you yeah. can yeah. match the DNA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm still not buying it. I'm with you, Sean. I believe. I that- don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm. I'm. But still... there's a scene. But the but the movie does side with you guys because there's yeah. a scene missing at the end that would clear it up, mm-hmm. which is the pullback where the two sisters are reunited and one of them disappears, or something. Right? Something. No, the because... deleted scene <laughs> is worse than that. Even. Ooh, the please tell. Deleted scene is we pull back and because you know she's a writer, she's been writing. We we get cut ins of her talking in class, reading the story out loud throughout the whole movie. Uh-huh. The final scene is this whole movie was her. Story. I knew it. 
God damn it. I knew that was a possibility. Mm -hmm. But wh at what point? Oh, so. Oh, when yeah, they when they are laying together in the in the dirt. After yeah. she, that's when it cuts back. And it's that's what the do end we do of the at story. The beginning of this movie? It's her typing. And then we go into her. The mm -hmm. back of her head. Yep. Yeah. And then it comes up to the story of her, her being a different character. I'm like, well, this is mm -hmm. a, a story. Mm hmm. Not they, even a different character. They cut character. that off because audiences uh, hated it. But this is this is where the current cut doesn't play the rules right, I yeah. guess, in order for this to work out. Because it goes into the back, the camera goes into the back of her head, and the next scene is her on the park bench as Aubrey, and dude comes up with the blue rose, mm -hmm. and then you know, uh, then they're going to go to the movies and all. So she, she doesn't become another character no. at that point. We're saying that it's. This is the story that she's telling about, like you know, the duality a of story the, the girl Dakota. has to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because this mm -hmm. is the, I guess, the where I was with it is like, you know, she's, uh, you know, it takes the police forever to figure this out. But I'm like, okay, it's because you know she underwent this trauma. She's a writer. She lived this life in her head of this Dakota person, so that's why she has a history. She goes through the trauma, and when she wakes up, she thinks she is Dakota, but she is still the whole time Aubrey. The thing that I think gives credence to this is she, the idea is that she's going to go confront the killer. And if she does, she's going to be able to rescue her sister. I'm using air quotes. Yeah. Here, right. <clears throat> but this is figurative because yeah. once she confronts the killer, she'll remember all the stuff that happened and she will become Aubrey again, thus releasing her from the prison that she's in. So when she's yes. digging in this grave. The girl that we're supposed to believe is her sister has been living for how long in a glass box underground? I say to you that that is physically impossible. He, so he had just put her. He had, he he had just done that. Though. Time is all over the place in this movie, though, That's because at one true. point in time they say, "Well, she's been gone for twenty days, and it feels like a few hours have passed." Like you know, what I'm saying, yeah. like it, they say it's been twenty days and she's been missing at one point. The better time. reveal so. would have been if there was another girl missing at the same time. And it was that's that mentioned, and it's that girl. Like she opens it up and everything, and she sees herself. But the reveal at the end, when she like snuggles up next to her, mm -hmm. is it reveals it's actually the other girl. Because mm -hmm. that had been set up by the movie. There's a point when she comes to a grave site, sees her own grave. Yes, is mm -hmm. that the one that she digs? No, it's actually the grave of the girl who died previously. Previous, yes, no, the one she, she doesn't dig that one up. She, that one's in the cemetery. The one okay. she digs is in his yard. It's like it's an unmarked right. yeah. but that is yeah. the girl yeah. that they found earlier. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. That was so the well, what we're saying is there are other things that would have made way more sense for this movie to go. <laughs> yeah. See, that's, that's the thing. Like, I, th I think the difference is that you guys were all looking at, like, the the imagery and the, the red herrings of what would make sense, where I was like, this movie's fucked. They're setting this up to, confu to confuse us, and this up, it's going to actually be her twin. Like, it's going to be legit. Like, they're not clever enough to make it make sense at the end. That's why I was like, yeah, that's believable. She has a twin. All right. I think that's what they're trying to do is because that's why they make the dad so noncommittal. But I wonder if that's just selective they want editing. That. If the original script was, you know, that they are the same person. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, well, I mean, I guess you explain it by the, you mm -hmm. know, this is all the story I was telling. Yeah. You know, but it's like you're just one scene away. All, like, all you have to do is have one of the girls dissolve. You know, when she's rescued, yeah. mm -hmm. she snuggles up with her. And the one mm -hmm. of them dissolves, and the remaining ego is Aubrey. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, but yeah. but instead this Audrey, movie Aubrey Aubrey, Aubrey Aubrey Aubrey. But instead this movie just ends with them cuddling in a ditch, and that's it. It's very that's literally it. Like, it's yeah. very unsatisfactory. Yeah. yeah. Yep. The dad fucking dies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. In like two cuddle. minutes. God, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. bleeds out so fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the killer, of course, has like one of those layers, which I don't understand his psychology. No. Okay? The, the We're given no motivation the, for the, right. the hanging no. prosthetics. Yeah. Right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, just glass like, blowing, I yeah. can see, is like that's your hobby. That's your He's hobby. very yeah. glass blowing, piano, prosthetics. This guy's very talented. I was going to mm -hmm. say, I think the glass blowing might be his like primary income because I can't imagine that piano lessons pay his mortgage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But glass blowing, like, you can make some money with that. Mm -hmm. It's my craftsmanship there. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, those dudes in the mall look like they make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are they actual glass blowers? The glass blowers in the, the mall. People that actually do it at the little stand. Oh, yeah, those, those, guys, yeah. those guys. Yeah, yeah. Who make, they don't make knives and fucking swords they and murderous weapons. They make little, little like, keys and stuff. Because yeah. imagine little, what you could uh, make off of the murderous mermaid. weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Custom murder weapons, yeah. Yeah, there's enough in the color sword of your stores choice. in the mall as well. Like, yeah. let's combine these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Swords yeah. and shit. I would shop there. I'm trying to think what made me think shit. that the uh, the piano teacher was the killer because I guess that's why I thought you called I was it like first movie. act. Yeah. You, know, you called it really early. Yeah, it was because of those shots of keyboard feet. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like okay, it's piano, and then like he cuts her fingers off, right, and then it's like, like like what's I'm his going, I'm like, though? who the hell in this cast She's ignoring her. is the killer? Yeah. And the only person that it could be who's like chopping off fingers is like he's pissed that she you know quit the team. Yep. But what about the other girl? <laughs> Well, she Why did you murder the other same girl? thing because she had the trophy. Yeah, she had a piano trophy. Uh, yeah, trophy. yeah. The, what yeah. A, that's, that's a the big weak, clue. Weak motivation. <laughs> My it's piano got blue stripes on are, the trophy. Yeah, right. So it's he like he can't yeah. handle that he's a shitty piano teacher and none of his students want to go for <laughs> and keep doing it. They're all quitting, so he's like, ah, uh-huh. and he's got to go kill them. Yeah, because he's that because he hates himself. Well, and Colin. he's he's one of those like you either you know it's winning or nothing because like he has that inscription in the back yeah, of don't her ribbon. For the red. Don't settle for red, which like if you ain't what? first, so or he last. Ba- exactly. <laughs> yeah, we'll so blue. he's basically <laughs> saying, "Fuck you, Dakota. You're not good enough because she's like the red, you know, version. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's the second place version." Yeah, and so her obsession with blue is because he's got a blue ring, right? Because that's the yeah, whole. Yeah, he's got a blue like, ring. Look yep. at this hand, and you have to look yep. at a hand that has a blue ring. A on giant it. fucking ring. Yeah. So it's like, oh, that's important. And then we mm. get that for the rest of the film. Mm. Um, so he's pun- the the cops eventually come to the idea the that cops. he's. he's- <laughs> you mean the people in like fucking Burt Macklin FBI jackets? Yeah, they yeah. look like they, they look like Burt Macklin. They, they look did. like the garbage props from Parks and Rec. They really did. They did not look like. <laughs> All those people seem like, I mean, all those FBI scenes How seemed like they were long. out of, uh, not like a necessarily a TV show, but like a TV movie, a TV movie, a TV movie, yeah, it felt very TV movie. That psychologist was awful too. They're all terrible at their jobs. Like the, the psychologist was basically interrogating her mm-hmm. and then the, then the FBI interrogated her. But the oh, least, yelling at him too. Yeah. I love the way yeah. that, like, you know, these uh, FBI agents, you know, are like so heartless when they're talking. So to, heartless. Just the way that the mm-hmm. the actors portray, you know, uh, talking to the mother of the girl who's gone missing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When did you see her last? You know, when it, it's not played in a way that's like I care and I'm yeah. trying to break no. this. Day. It's like an interrogation. Yeah. yeah. You should know what your daughter was wearing. And it <laughs> took them how long to test the DNA of the girl who said she's not Aubrey but looks just like her? Yeah. A long how time. Long? How long? Probably, probably a month in this movie. Took time. a long fucking time. But you'd also, as we were saying during the movie, like you could have gotten that like a lot faster by just fingerprinting the girl. Anything, Is she Aubrey. Anything, because right, that's the only thing in twins that doesn't match, right? Fingerprints. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fingerprints mm-hmm. don't match. Yeah, yeah. And you got one because hand. Get that one right. hand up there. And let's do it. <laughs> I will say that's the, right. The interrogation leads to my favorite line in this movie because Lindsay Lohan thinks she's doing really good work, but it's really terrible. It's like. When when the FBI lady is like asking her questions and she's in the wheelchair and Lindsay and Lindsay Lohan's like, How would you fucking feel? I lost everything. Hands, fingers, everything. And like <laughs> like the like hands, fingers delivery is so ridiculous. And like that's my favorite line in the whole movie. She's just she thinks she's really nailing it, but it's it's just not like her method good. stripping. Yeah, yeah. Man. She must oh. have studied so hard for that role. <sighs> Yeah. Again, it's, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't uh, think she was doing terrible. I think that was. Did you probably see when en- she played encouraged. Jamie Lee Curtis in Freaky Friday? Yeah. No. She was spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> believed she was Jamie Lee Curtis. Well, but there was an inconsistency to all the. Like, Julia Ormond, uh, who plays her mom, not a bad actress. There's yeah. that scene on the couch where she's, like, explaining. That's like, a good scene. What, but it's. That's it the feels best, like probably the best, best scene. scene. What about the cat scene, Sean? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that cat. No, what about the scene when Lindsay Lohan's like, I don't like cats? <laughs> Fuck Lindsay Lohan. Well, I thought that, you know, Julia Armand is doing this, like, really, like, gut, you know, she's getting in there to do this scene, but it also feels like the director's kind of let her go a little too uh, high up on the register. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Because it feels totally inconsistent with, like, the rest of the movie. It's like, whoa, this is, yeah, mm, you're a little too far out there. Bring it down. mm -hmm. Just a little bit. But that's mm-hmm. probably the, the to- best. 
the tone is all over the place this whole fucking movie. Mm-hmm. All over the place. What was that part where they were playing the fucking music? You said oh it was like God. George Lopez music. Oh my God, the sex scene. Yeah. Like, it sounds like yeah. George Lopez, like, you know how like the George Lopez show had those ridiculous like bumper music between scenes and like yeah. the intro? That's what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. It sounds like fucking George Lopez. Like How much George Lopez did you watch? The the song really sticks with you. Okay. It was a, like <laughs> you're a big fan no, of George Lopez like, show or you always it's wake a valid up. Question. It was always on Nick at night, like really late, and like when when you're a kid falling asleep, that shit wakes you up in the middle of the night hearing the oh, fucking George Lopez theme sure. song. You know, my my late at night music was Mash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's some yeah. show like the music always wakes up. With it. You it know, just, I was like, fuck, it's late. I need to turn my yeah, TV off when, exactly. I, when I hear Mash. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think mine was Dragnet. Yeah, yeah. see, yeah. <laughs> But it's it is totally wrong for a sex scene. It's like it's basically like mariachi wacky sex. Yeah, like it's it's the equivalent of wacky sex for another genre. I mean, of music. I, does that make sense? I, like I see what they were trying to do because like the mom is clearly listening downstairs and they're trying to make it light, but they shouldn't have. But it has it goes on for it's like the whole so, length of the song though. It seems so long. Yeah, it's I thought so that sex scene was like it's so Christ, out of place. This is going on for a long t- like past the mm-hmm. point where it's like oh, okay, you can yeah. probably cut it's, this. Yeah. No, it's like <laughs> it's like leave, mom. it's like the room long. Yeah, yeah that's what is. I was yeah. thinking. Like, Actually, yeah. while I was it watching, is. I'm like, wow, this is <laughs> on equivalency yeah. of the room. And yeah. it's, but you see no stubs because they shoot from the opposite side, so you mm-hmm. don't see amputee sex yeah. at all. If you're, like, is if it, you're going to have the, that in your movie, this is when you show up. Is that the, the sequel draw. song to No Scrubs? No Stubs? <laughs> no Stubs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They do all these little prosthetic effects, which I mean, clearly they're you know you're aware that they are prosthetics. The fake hand behind the table and mm. the fake. I thought the, the extra the the giant shoulder she's got. Yeah. Well, she had there was was that a CG effect when she was on the crutches and came into the living room and yeah. had, it had looked be, like yeah. it. The brushing looked a little rough around yeah. the stump, so probably. Yeah. But there yeah. was those you know the the engineering that I admire are those scenes in the uh, the hospital bedroom where she's got the fake leg sticking up and then mm-hmm. the fake yeah. arm's got to be like mm-hmm. she's like she's waiting for it, it to move yeah, yeah. did you see that she's yeah. like, yeah. so she could touch the stump and go like oh, yeah. she's like come on come up come up yeah she was waiting because she's grabbing the arm like alright you should be coming up yeah, now yeah, yeah, and yeah. it finally comes up she's like no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, team of guys. Stump acting is not good, is what yeah. you would say? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, that stuff. I live for that stuff, though. <laughs> a little bit of that goes a long way. <laughs> it only takes hey, it her. Real. It only takes her one therapy lesson to get the robot hand down. She walks across yeah. one little plank and, and that she's is, got it's it. just like, well, you got it. Here you go. Like, Nailed oh, it. Jesus. Quick learner. Nailed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any real amputees are really pissed at this movie. It's like, fuck you. This is, you know I'm sure through? this is a horrible representation of that community. I would imagine. <laughs> Everyone picketing this movie is just amputees. <laughs> I still don't get the hanging amputee. So that's why I, I was, don't get it either. But I, yeah. That's why I was thinking killer, because yeah. that was from her point of view. It was from uh, sorry, it was Dakota's point of view going into that house. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of things that are like this really warped, weird, subjective point of view. So you can't trust it. You know that you know that like she's relating the story of how Dakota now walking home from the strip club goes to a um, a bus stop and she sees. You know, the guy in the blue cap across the street. Then all of a sudden he's, you know, I think in the same trick shot, right? Like, you know, 10 feet away. And then all of a sudden he's right there at the, on the other side of the glass, you know. He's Jason Voorhees. Just yeah. jump all over the place. Yeah. All well, over the place. So it's mm-hmm. like, okay, so this is not really happening. This is in her. Is it because she's remembering it this way or because uh, her entire, everything we see from her point of view is suspect? But it could really be happening, Colin. Because no, it could oh, be. Oh, 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 you're serious. No, Let's, I'm serious. I want to hear this. It could be really happening because if we go with the uh, the ending that um, Holly and Michaela are going with, this is a supernatural movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is twin powers. This is this is a, a girl getting her leg cut off and her hands cut off, and then her twin having the same thing happen to her. While she's yeah. stripping supernaturally, yeah. her this finger is a falls supernatural off. movie. If this is the way that that's going to go, twin yeah. powers because no, no, twin stigmata. I missed that when she dug her up at the end. Was she also ampu- You didn't see? No, you I wasn't paying see. attention. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, she was holding she her the- hand over the thing, so she's yeah. missing everything. And she, she says that earlier, yeah. like whatever happens to her happens to me. Yep. Oh. So yes, they yeah. are this, the sexual implications oh. that are gross. 
But <laughs> wait, so this so okay. the same thing is happening. If she gets one thing cut off, she yes. loses it there. Uh, All right, twin so powers. it's a supernatural movie. This is why I guess mm-hmm. it feels even more so like the idea that this is all you know a psychological break mm-hmm. works better than the chance that some killer would be angry at your sister, so he would kidnap her, come and find you, even though you don't know your sister, and abduct you both and do the same thing to both of you. No, he only got one. This is. I thought that's what we were saying. No, both no. were amputated yeah. in the same place. No, 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 no. One got amputated because the other one did. That was yeah, the, that's, that was the that's twin what power. they're saying. Like, if you go with their the killer two only amputated one of them. People. Oh, because it's it the just twin power. oh, so that's the shit that's, that's supposed to be happening. That's why her finger fell off while she was stripping. Yes. Right. That's what's okay. I follow go back where to you're that going stuff. with this we're now. Get the All flashbacks right. where she's whole and things are falling off. That's yeah. what's happening. Mm-hmm. So this is a supernatural twin yeah. movie. Yeah. This is like that fucking Cheech and Chong movie, The Corsican Brothers. When the <laughs> one, you remember this? You remember this? When the, when the one twin was be getting like medieval tortured and the other one was the one feeling it. Mm. It's this. This is the same thing. They ripped off Cheech and Chong. Or it's kind of like Looper. Or, yeah, Looper. Right, Looper is okay, a good analogy for it. Cheech and yeah. Or Cheech and Chong. <laughs> yeah. Either one. Wow. Fucking hell. <laughs> so we're going to have to grade this on like two so different versions of this movie. That's what it is, yeah. Is it this one or that one? Is one of them better than the other? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Like there's a red version of this movie and a blue <laughs> version of this movie. Uh, there Mind it is. Blown. Which one do you prefer? <laughs> Did anybody look up and find out if the woman who plays the uh, manager, senior stripper at the strip club <laughs> is that the is nun? Is that the nun? That's the from nun. It's got to be. Uh, oh wait, from she's from the nun. The, the, the movie that's movies? coming out, the new movie, the yeah. nun. Yeah, I, don't I know. think she's it got is. A very severe looking face. It looks like her. Yeah. I think it is. I'm gonna look it up. You look it up. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna be. That we're, gonna, we're gonna know about this. Ask Jeeves or ask dot com. Ask, 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 yeah. ask Jeeves. I want to know what Jeeves thinks. About why didn't this. she go for Jeeves? You know? Because I had to do it just like the movie. No, I mean, so why I'm she? saying why didn't she? Why didn't Lindsay Lohan ask Jeeves? Why ask and not ask Jeeves? Did ask Jeeves turn into ask? I think so, yeah. I think that's that happened oh, by 2007? I think it, yeah. I think it did, yeah. Jeeves was like way he got, early on. He got fired, huh? I guess so. He <laughs> wasn't pulling his way. He didn't buttle the way he was supposed to. <laughs> wasn't he like your personal butler? Here that, yeah. Igor. <laughs> Get your shit going. <laughs> AskEgor.com. It's just going to be the mailbag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, Igor. <laughs> that poor guy. Never gets a break. Never. Oh, man. <laughs> um... So yeah, we got two different. So yeah, everything's going blue. On everything's <laughs> blue, <laughs> red. So everything's blue, pill, blue. red. I wonder pill. what this movie is like to watch if you are colorblind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or if you just like do not have as sharp a sense of color. Okay, so here's another way that I was watching it, right? <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. so you. Oh, that's said, her. It Sorry. is her. Yep. Is it? Get yep. the fuck that's out! Her. Wow. Uh, you, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. We've identified uh, an early She's performance. The nun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> of the nun. Bonnie Aarons. <laughs> Holy the, shit. Huh. The Conjuring, the soon to be the nun. She was in I Know Who Killed Me. She was fat, whatever the name was. Yeah. Fat, fat Tina, right? Fat Tina. Yeah. Wow. That's, who, that's her? She's yeah. Fat Tina? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why would they call her that? I don't know. She's like she's the, the boss. She's the, yeah, just because like, like a like mob boss Tina. name. Yeah. Right. She's the gotcha. fat cat. It's like she's fat Tony. Gotcha. I like it. She's the fat cat. Yeah. All right, so let me run this by you, right? Because you said that this movie was inspired by a guy, or it was inspired by Suspiria. Oh, I was shit. actually sitting there watching it. No, it's it going by like, a guy who was who inspired really by Suspiria. Who really likes Suspiria. Suspiria. What did I say? It's different. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You said inspired by oh, Suspiria. Oh, by a, he likes Suspiria. It's a guy who really likes. Right, yeah. right, right, right. We, got, we yes. have to, yeah. yeah. Filtered uh, a lot. Yeah. So I was thinking, like, would we have more of a tolerance for this movie if it was Italian and directed by Dario Argento? Because, like, yeah. I was watching it going, like, <laughs> you know. Yes. Argento has made movies as batshit crazy as this. Like, you know, when I was seeing that's it, because that, that scene with the uh, all the petals falling mm-hmm. off and going down, and for, for no reason, mm-hmm. right? This scene, yeah. I mean, to set it up, right? She's in her room, and she looks up at, like, these... Her mirror. Ro- it's in her mirror. Yeah, but the roses are in the room, yeah. like, sitting right. there. And yeah. the petals yeah. start falling off of them dreamlike, and they fall into the mirror. Yeah. Into and the, river. It turns out, the, yeah, in the mirror mm-hmm. is this river... And they come down the stream. A babbling brook. And I'm like, this doesn't have anything to do with anything, but well, it's, it's a showy camera ang- you mm-hmm. move where you. you it's yep. because it's because the the stream is by where her twin is. Mm-hmm. We just don't know that. That's yet. very true. Yeah. Because that's what we see at the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's because she remembers it, right? Because she has the a connection. Coming back. Her twin. The- twin powers. Twin powers. <laughs> just, just <laughs> the answer to everything is twin powers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I mean, would we be more forgiving of it? Would this I, be a Dario Argento classic, or would you be like, wow, this 
I if mean, it, we, if it came out the same way, like Dario Gento directing Lindsay Lohan, no, 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 we're talking about no, no just it was, the simp. Okay, if it's all dubbed because it's all Italian actors, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> I think that's like the leeway that we give Italian right, movies because we're already getting that. <laughs> it's like there's something it's like, being lost in translation. Probably if you heard it in the original Italian, it'd be perfectly <laughs> yeah, so fine. Just, but, there's a lot of leeway we give to that. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't be written by a guy that literally wrote nothing else. So I think that would. Already make it a lot better. You know what I'm saying? I think that's that's the biggest problem with this movie is the inexperience of the people making it. So, I mean, yes, we would give more leeway because it would be more experienced people making it. Yeah. Yeah, More experienced. Yeah, because you mean you can better. Guys who wrote the toolbox murders wrote Mm -hmm. Mother of Tears, and that's like, Mm -hmm. (laughs) it might be in like the same. uh, I don't know. I don't don't have the heart on for Italian cinema that Colin Colin does. (laughs) (laughs) I probably would still be like, no, this fucking sucks ass. Uh Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. That's, I guess, what I was trying to think. Like, you know, it's like I like the the style of those things, and like this door. is trying to be like a it's stylish yeah. kind of yeah. So it's like, would you give it a break if it was? Ooh, look at what they're doing here, but yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think no, so. No, because there'd be some fucking greens thrown in there, and that's what was missing. That we green, more yellow, colors, in green. more colors, Not damn lights, it. though. There were no <laughs> lights, in yellow. and that's what we're missing here. Mm. And some some dead person of some sort. I don't know. It did I don't have, think like, it quite matches up. It did have that super graphic gore. You know what it was missing? It was missing the to be like a giallo esque movie, right? We have to understand something more about the twisted psychosexual nature of our killer, mm-hmm. which we don't. Definitely. Know. And I think nothing about because there should be like the scene. If it was a giallo movie, there'd be the flashback. Right, mm-hmm. uh, the uh, out of fucking nowhere flashback when he's got her the second time and he's like doing that was the pl- time when they do it yeah. when he's playing the piano with his one hand mm-hmm. they do like all of a sudden this flashback where you find out like how he got his love of pianos why he fucking uh, has a thing for prosthetics yeah. <laughs> because that seems like right out of like a Giallo movie the prosthetics mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. having that fascination yeah. with those and them hanging everywhere like that yeah. fits yeah. yeah that seems like something that would happen. And a scared woman running through going, ah! ah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Except that oh there'd God, be yes. like a flashing green light, right? Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, <laughs> there'd be something strobing. Or a yeah. red light. Again, yeah. what is that movie where there was the red flashing light with the woman walking down the hallway? Wasn't the mannequins? It, uh, the Tombs of the Blind Dead? Was it? Yeah, Bergenia. Yes, Bergenia. that's what it was. That's what it was. That's what I couldn't think of. That's the movie. Mm-hmm. Then she got burned at the end of that yeah, scene. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Glad I finally That's what they're out. missing. If you're going to do it right, you have to have the strobing yeah. Uh, yeah. out the window. Yeah, something. It was just, missing in this film. Not just so. blinding yeah, blue lights. that's what was yeah. missing. Because <laughs> even the killer wore gloves. They just weren't black. They were blue. This mm-hmm. is like they're trying to make an American giallo yeah. movie. He tried really yeah. hard. Yeah. He did. He probably oh, thinks he nailed fail. it. I mean, I, I, mean I, like, I, feel, I get the sense watching this that like the screenwriter and the director were like, Fuck yeah, we nailed this. Like patting themselves oh, on the I back. Know. Like That's the sense I get from this. Like Yeah, it's sad. Meanwhile, the editor's going... Ooh, how, what am I going to do with this shit? <laughs> yeah. It's done. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. I get you're making what you want to make, but like uh, the audience isn't going to understand what the mm-hmm. fuck this is. So we're going to save it. And in the, the director's editor. going, it's art, man. Yeah. You don't have to Export get it, okay? It. <laughs> You'll have to understand. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> you didn't make it. It's like, I'm sure when the screenwriter wrote that, people get cut. That's like, oh, he was God. like, uh, Apple S. I am done for today. I uh, fucking uh-huh. nailed it. Like, like, That's uh-huh. my fucking yeah, line. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he was hoping that'd go on the poster. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Nope. It's two sides to every crime. Oh my god. Yeah. Which is not two, what happens in this movie. Two there are not two sides to the crime. No. no. Two people to every crime. Yeah. There's two low hands to every crime. That gives away your twist though. Two colors to every crime. Two colors. Razzy winning. Razzy winning. Oh, Razzy winning. Oh yeah. Multiple Razzy winning performances by Lindsay Lohan. All right, then. There's also mm-hmm. an amazing uh, uh, scene in which the boyfriend engineers an escape from the house. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably. How did we miss Apparently, this? I mean, well, it's awesome because, like, apparently the entire staff of the FBI seems to be congregated outside this house, making sure that Lindsay Lohan now safe. Uh, yeah, is safe, mm-hmm. right? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is until yeah, they, they figure they, out what the hell is going they, on. They think that he's going to come back for her. So yeah, mm-hmm. he's They're, still like, out guarding there. Her. And she lived. That's very true. Mm-hmm. She lived, and he's still out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she wants to go out and meet the family of the original girl because she's got to find the clues to mm-hmm. solve this crime. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so her boyfriend engineers an escape plan, which includes so basically consists of he's going to go out and ask every single guy out there if they have a rubber 
This is not no joke. He's this is literally what happens. This yep. is not bad. Looking <laughs> <laughs> looking back on it now, maybe the excuse is not great, but the way it's pulled off, I'm like, all right, I didn't see that coming, but it worked. Like because he goes out, fakes the car is not working. Yeah, it's like, do you have this? Do you have this? And then he goes back inside and comes back out in a different car mm-hmm. that she's in. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. And yeah. he's in a hurry. He's in so a they hurry. let him go. They're yeah. like, well, he's got to get back That's so he can not, get lucky. It worked. That's not a bad idea. I give him props for that one. Because I was even I was digging on it or, or just fucking yelling at it as it was happening. I'm like, what, what the fuck's going on here? And I'm just like, all right. It's not I'm bad. thinking mm-hmm. this is that kind of batshit logic that I would give a bigger pass to if Probably. it was Italian. Like, make it Italian. Because <laughs> they do that shit all the time. Yeah. It's very uh, true. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they even set that up because before they have sex, she says, oh, there's only one. She even says, like, there's only one condom. Yep, yeah. So, like, it's believable that last. he would be asking for another one because uh-huh. she said there was only one. God. Mm-hmm. So they were forethinking in the sex scene and nothing else. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, all right. Are there any? I know who uh, killed me, Colin. Uh, yeah, you this do. movie. She even says that. She says the title, guys. She says, so she the says title. It. in that mm-hmm. supercut of movies where they say, say the, the title. Yeah. Has this ever shown up? Anybody ever watch one? Of it should. I, it should. Because this, this is a pretty egregious one, so it should. Yeah. yeah. I want to go back and watch one of those. I love when they do. What was the yeah, box office those. on this movie? <laughs> even Family Oh, uh, like joke. six million or something. What'd it's it really cost? bad. Uh, Twelve million. This is Ooh. an expensive movie. So like, this was a flop. Mm-hmm. Oh, big yeah. time. Oh yeah, big time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, went yeah. straight to. Nobody was buying mm-hmm. what Lindsay Lohan was selling. No, <laughs> not the, no, <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Has she just been shunned? I mean, at, are we at the point? Does this movie have a cult following because it's bad? No, no. Or are no, we no, the only people who have seen it? No, like nobody's seen it. No, I have to go ask friends and they'd be like. Like I no. said, MTV pushed this, but even at no, the time, people were like, one, nah. Uh, people will know. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Nope. Nope. Well, do we have any uh, stray questions? Why, Michaela? We'll get to it. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, I guess that means it's time to summon our mailman. So, Igor, you ready, Sean? Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Thanks. He's got blue roses. <laughs> He's he knows this movie. See, yeah, he's seen like it. Face. He's got the poster up in his. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you? Maybe he just likes Lindsay Lohan. He's got also a Herbie. <laughs> there, he's just a fan of Lindsay Lohan. Mm-hmm. Mm. He wants to see her make a comeback. He really likes Confessions of a Teenage Trauma Queen. <laughs> 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 <That's right. laughs> Jesus. Oh, Igor. <laughs> no, you don't like the canyons. No, okay, fine. He likes her and her canyons. Oh, I forgot about the canyons. Not good. Was Should that I? Good? The, no. the, 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 just watch yeah. the parts. The and parts. Fine. Well, I haven't heard much you know about it. I just know it's, it's, good. it's Paul Schrader, Brett Easton Ellis, yeah. and Lindsay Lohan. It's like, what? And, and James, oh, and James Dean. Dean. Star, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. together mm-hmm. in some kind of amazing catastrophe. Something. I don't I don't know. I've watched about a half hour of it. Eh. It's, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. I haven't seen it. It's not egregiously bad. Like It's just, like, it's just not interesting. Yeah. It's not. It's just I think not that's probably yeah. the thing. It's just not interesting. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. There it is. <clears throat> um, let's oh, tell the just fun. Igor away. Sorry, Igor. That's, <laughs> maybe that's his favorite movie. I wow, he may, really, really just hurt his feelings. Just I'm now. sorry. I he's he he's gonna go and sit by himself and blast the Ramones now. <laughs> 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 or whatever, like Lindsay Lohan in a band back in the day, right? She, she, oh, she, she yeah. had an album. She did. She had an album. That's what he's going to go blast. She, well, and fuck the Ramones. He's so, like, like the Lohan. guitar, the purple guitar in the cover of her album was in the bedroom in her. In the <laughs> oh. was really? The same one that was used in the cover. Oh, this oh was God. her movie. Yeah. I just yeah. remember her. That's why she did it, because she could do shit like that. I don't remember the song, but I just remember that it, the music video was. And for- the Birdcage? Her was it? Bird was it? Because it was very much like about having like an abusive dad and shit. It was like oh, that really was depressing. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. She's well, really yes. sad. She has noted family issues. She for also sure. yeah. was like in a band in Freaky Friday, wasn't she? Yes. Like, wasn't that part of it where she's uh-huh. like, I mm-hmm. could do There was a Battle of the Bands, the movie trope right. that no one's ever experienced in real life. <laughs> battle of the Bands. <laughs> has anyone ever been to a Battle of the Bands? I, I uh, have heard of. We it should put one on. around here, but I don't like in if high I school. went, I would be so disappointed about what went down. Yeah. Like I'm expecting an epic battle yeah. between the final like, two bands. Like 
Like I need I want to, I need to see at least Bill S. Preston Esquire up in one side. <laughs> I That's what to, I need. I need to see at least two of the bands busting through the back door because there was a story and they're getting there that night. Yes, yeah. like I want that. <laughs> they barely made it to the they stage. They barely yeah. made the, it. The MC was calling their name for like five minutes. Like, all right, last call for. We're here. <laughs> and, and then they're, they're, run out. they're looking yeah. out into the crowd for that one person they're hoping will show up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going. I'm in the back. I'm going. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> she's here, guys. Yeah. She's here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, no one's yeah. ever experienced that in real no, life. No, no, that doesn't happen. <laughs> but it's in every high school as movie. As much as we want it to happen. <laughs> there you go. I think that's it. We I would, want it to happen. <laughs> I'd pay to see that. I would I too. I would cry, but like it's happening. It's really happening. Bell- Let's Bell- tell the Bella Bands doesn't happen. That's oh. life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell the fine folks at home how they can get a hold of us and let us know what they thought about tonight's episode or any episode. They can find us. On Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. They can follow us on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. They can write to us via email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. So the first comment tonight comes from Ellie Stoss. Am I saying your name right, Ellie? I hope. Uh, Uh, She says, I'm not going to lie, but I kind of enjoyed this movie. I watched it with curiosity and made it until the end. I would choose it over Jennifer's body any day. That's for sure. Ooh. Really? Ellie. I agree. I don't like Diablo Cody's writing. So I Woods. Right. Okay, I've seen... How many Diablo Cody movies, Cody movies have you seen? They're all Two? the same. Yeah, that's all you need to see yeah. ever again for the rest of your life. Yeah, but one of them's a horror movie? Okay. Uh, barely. I seen that is barely body. a horror movie. You haven't? No, I haven't seen it. Hmm, perhaps have, one yeah. day. Maybe come one day. To these... Glittering Shores. Um, Kylie Ellen writes in and says, Oh my God, I've Kylie? seen this movie before. It's so awful. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Kylie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, about our episode. <laughs> like, uh, I will say yeah, my thoughts for wrap up. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela's like, I'm going to have a lot of explaining to do. Uh, about our episode on Sleepwalkers, Karate Warrior 2 writes in. Ah, <laughs> oh, dumb. And he says, I thought Sean was the king of shitty calls, but Colin's. <laughs> <laughs> but Collins, it's a catastrophe yeah, line. Thank you. Heralded, thank you. Has heralded a new reign. <laughs> the episode also has to have the highest F bomb count in Saturday Night Freak Show history, but to be honest, Probably. I don't blame you. This sounded fucking terrible. Well, they <laughs> fucked a lot, too. Like, there was That's a true. lot of <laughs> sex in that movie, so yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Next time, I want to count. I want to know exactly yeah. how many. Yeah. Down. Um, Ooh, we'll yeah. keep a chart going down here. We should keep a tally. Yeah. I'll never be able to keep a well, tally. Well, we are marked explicit, so we're, uh, we apologize Good. right now if, uh, if our obscenity fell I don't apologize. I, I apologize I, for nothing. I fucking apologize. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Uh, son, Sean Roger writes in and says, I think oh, Alice Krieg out-sexied Machen Am- no. Amy. No. I'm movie. sorry, the mom? No. Yep. Yeah. No, sir. <laughs> But he said he gross. couldn't think of a better term than out sexy. He says he's tired. Gross. Any, How about gross? There's no term, sir. Yeah. You do not out sexy. If she wasn't. Imagine No. Amen. If she was not like fucking her son, then okay, I'll give it to you. But no. Well, I think he's gross. yeah talking a purely purely physical. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't, I think don't he's care. Taking the incest into account. I don't and care. It could not. be that he was only looking at the stuff we posted on Facebook yeah. and not the movie itself. Possible. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Quite He's got to think for Alice Creed. Mm-hmm. She's too skinny. She's right. very skinny. She's very skinny. So now we're going to go so around the room. like Lindsay Lohan in this movie. It's Alice true. Creed ever, uh, did we say she was in Silent Hill last time? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did we? Yeah, I think so. Uh, so we're going to go around the room and we're going to tell you what we individually thought of I Know Who Killed Me. Colin! Yeah, Sean. What did you think? About the Lindsay Lohan starring I Know Who Killed Me, directed by Silverstone. Chris Silverstone. Chris Silverstone. I had to write it down because I wouldn't remember. What did you think? Um, I didn't think it was a complete disaster, but it, because I guess I had some kind of appreciation for it. I mean, the fact that I was like engaged with it, trying to figure out what was going on, even or maybe it was trying to confirm what I thought was going on, but man, this movie's a mess. I mean, that's the problem with it is just, I think maybe a rewrite, uh, perhaps a different director, perhaps, you know, if you gave it to Dario Argento, um, right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's how you fix this movie. I just, I mean, maybe just take what you have and just like overdub the voices with 
with the same people for all I care. Yeah, just like, dub them. Yeah, just oh, dub we them. can do that. Yeah, just, just dub them. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fix I know. Uh, let like the me editor, better. right? Do you ever see that movie? It's yeah. a parody of Italian horror yeah. movies, and they just dub everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. The uh, so I, I like some of the ideas. I like some of the set pieces, uh, but the movie is just totally inconsistent and kind of loses its way, especially, I mean, again, we're talking about two different, very different interpretations of the same movie that we watched, right? And I tend to, I like uh, version A, we're going to call that the blue version, (laughs) the one that suggests that, you know, the girl suffered a trauma and all of this, you know, the second uh, personality was all in her head. Mm -hmm. It's like that movie is... I was going to say marginally better, but I think I like that one significantly more than the the red version, which is the twins and magic twin powers, because that one just I, I guess it doesn't check out for me. And I kind of like the psychological aspect of the first one. Um, but, yeah, is Lindsay Lohan miscast? I think she carries a lot of baggage to her. So if her career had gone a different way, I think we'd probably look differently upon this movie. But sure. now it's like it's Lindsay Lohan. So it's, you know, you're looking for and you know that, you know, she was in trouble at the time that it was made. So you're kind of looking for those uh, telltale signs. There's a scene where she is in uh, a hospital and I think the cops are interrogating her and she's saying something to the effect of like, I don't want to be held. Uh, you know, I'm not a prisoner here where I can only, what is, what's the line? She says something to, if I, it sounded like she was talking about her real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I got real for a minute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh shit. She's channeling something. Yeah. yeah because oh, no. during the production, she was allowed to leave rehab during the day to go mm-hmm. shoot the movie and then had to report to rehab at night. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> yep. that stuff colors the movie. Uh, I just didn't like the way that it was photographed and it could be, maybe my settings are off, but it seemed really badly lit. Very yeah, no, badly. It's very, very, very like, badly. It's just not, not well, unless they're, because they're not trying to light anything unless it's with like blue light, red light, mm-hmm. yeah. but yeah. everything else is really a normal dark, scene. I guess like it's yeah. dark at the end and the flesh tones were like, and but I'm like, yeah. that's what really that set it off what, for me. Like everyone's faces looked weird colors. But, like, yeah. I mean, like Lindsay Lohan is also an odd color. She is, but not even just her, like her, like the dad and the, yeah, the, the doctor, they were all like orangey. It was just mm-hmm, very yeah. odd. It's like, it wasn't mm-hmm. color timed, right? Or like yeah. the yeah. crew is a new to making films and didn't know, you know, hadn't done the test, the camera test beforehand or something. I don't know. It was uh, so, yeah, it kind of felt uh, amateurish in a lot of ways, uh, but ambitious in other ways. I don't know what to tell you. I think you, I don't think I recommend it. I mean, there's not enough there. I think maybe if you've listened this long and maybe if you're a Giallo fan, you can watch it with, you know, kind of that like, oh, so this is the they are actually trying to make one now, unsuccessful. But at least, you know, you can see what they're doing to just, you know, for comparison's sake or whatever. Uh, and I guess that was the only really redeeming thing that, I, you know, as we were talking, that I was like, oh, uh, uh, this is kind of interesting. But aside from that, I think you can skip uh, I Know Who Killed Me. Sean, what do you think? I would like to know if any of the filmmakers knew anything about Giallo's and were, if that had any influence on what mm-hmm. they were trying to yes. make. I really would. There's no commentary on this movie, so we'll, I think, never know. Because no one's going to go back and do a retrospective on this movie. I'll make it happen. I'll kickstart you know, it. If you did, I would be interested to know. You like, could probably just that. call this the I, writer. Right, you could probably Honestly, I probably like, could. So, yeah. yeah, what were you thinking? Yeah. Just <laughs> Explain yourself, sir. Yeah, please let us know. What's his um, name? Jeff Hammond. That, it's Jeff Hammond? Hammond. Yep. Hammond? Yeah, well, we'll be contacting you soon, sir. <laughs> um, other than that, I mean, the movie is, is a, it's, it feels a mess to me. Like, I want, I'm all for uh, ambiguity, like, in what you, if you, if you want your audience to decide what's going on, to figure it out for themselves, but it doesn't feel like that's their purpose of this movie. I feel like there is a split, and I want to know what we're doing here. I feel like maybe the movie does end up in the, arena of super twin powers and <laughs> she got amputated so her shit's falling apart and there are two different um they are twins separated at birth and she finds her at the end and i'm guessing that that feels like where the movie's going that's not i think it would be more interesting if it went the other way if it was a psychological thing with her i mean not to say that that's an original thing but it may have been more interesting for this movie um 
<sighs> oh boy. Um, I was only engaged with this movie because I really wanted to figure out what the fuck was going on. Like, I, it's because I, I, it, it takes so long for them to like give us something that would lead to an answer as to what is happening in this movie as to why I was engaged with it. Because I'm just trying to like, all right, give me we are answers. Yes, please keep going. It took so long to get there. Um, I uh, I can't recommend this movie. Uh, you you shouldn't you shouldn't watch it. Um, uh, 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 no, <laughs> no, you you should not watch. I know who killed me. There's that. Uh, uh, no, I can only make sounds at this point. No, don't watch this movie. Ugh. It's making you short circuit. Uh, I am. Like, God, no, there's not. Someone needs to decide what they want to do. And this, God, this fucking movie. Nope, don't watch it. Can't do it. Uh, yeah, this this movie was it was fucking long, man. It was an ordeal. <laughs> like I felt tired after this. <laughs> um. And not like tired, like I almost fell asleep, like bored. I mean, afterwards I was like, "Whew, hey, you're that was that was a lot." Like, like, all right, because you're trying I was to tired. keep up with it. You're just like, "All right, I'm with you. What do you yeah. want? What do you want to tell us? What are you trying to do?" Yeah, like, like with Ooh. what you guys are saying about um, your blue pill version. Like, I wanted it to be that. I really did. I don't think that's what it was. I still think it was red pill version. Um, but man, it was tiresome trying to differentiate and just looking for anything that made sense. I I don't care what you make, what language or whatever you make this movie, and it's still gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> I just can't. Like no. No, 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 you're like a fucking cleaning lady for family. No, 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 we need more lemon pledge. No, 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 Lindsay Lohan, no home right now. No, um, <laughs> yeah, no, nope. <laughs> <laughs> You've got us down to syllables. No, no, no. All right, Michaela, why? What, why? So, this came out in 2007. I think 2007 is one of the best years for film in modern film history. It was a lot. It is an incredible. Of good came out we year. had just off the a few off the top No Country for Old Men, yes. There Will Be Blood, Funny Games, Zodiac, Zodiac. Grind, oh, yeah. Grindhouse and Sunshine all came out in 2007. That's just like from, you know, it's what like a Denny top. Boyle like yeah. movie with Yeah, Chris with, with Killian yeah. Murphy's. Oh, yeah. It was a dark oh, year for movies. It was a dark, but like dark, some, but good. some they're like, We're all pretty dark people yeah, now. That's true. <laughs> movies that will stand the test of time, though. Like those, like that was a great year. Yeah. And then you had movies like I Know Who Killed Me that came out the same year. <laughs> and to me, it blows my mind because this feels like, like this has aged so much worse than any of those movies. Like, this movie feels like it could have been a you know early aughts. This movie is in that almost. cursed yeah. category where it feels so much older than it yes. actually is. Yeah. It's, it's a nice like, parallel. Yeah, yeah. We cursed. Missed, yeah, yeah. This missed the mark. Yeah, yeah. and um, I just this is not like not a hill I'm willing to die on. This is I we need to hold these people accountable again for what <laughs> they say, did. We'll kill you on like, this hill if we need to. <laughs> this is uh, another American Psycho too. Which we need to not let them get away with this. We like, can't we'll let the terrorists win. We'll never forget Mila Kunis. Yeah. We yeah. will never forget. So you're right here like, like no, we're not going to forget this shit. Yeah, yeah. You never, did this to us. Never this forget. This is a war crime. <laughs> well, like I said, MTV like like brainwashed me into thinking this was going to be a good movie because they <laughs> shoved it down my throat every commercial break. True, like, but hasn't Lindsay been punished enough? I mean, she's an adult woman that can make her own choices at this point, so... You know, this, this shit's been going on. It's still going on. Like, we're here 10 years later, and she still has not course-corrected her life, you know? True. How much, how much slack do you give her, you know? Um, yeah, well, I don't know. Like, her family, dude. Do. Yeah, no, <laughs> she's definitely had some personal issues and troubles. But this movie is, it's a mess, man. But I think it's worth watching just for the robot hand and robot foot stuff. Like, you, like, that's how this movie was pitched to me. It was like, this is a movie where Lindsay Lohan is a robot hand and robot foot. And I was Who like, what? This movie to that, you? Like, so that was funny. how one of my friends told me about it. I was like, I need to see this. So I think I it's worth watching just for that. <laughs> I That's some so um, they pitched. Yeah, I think it's worth watching just for that. It's terrible. Um, it doesn't quite. It doesn't. It slowly kind of toes the line of awesomely bad. It doesn't kind of like immediately jump into it. Uh, I wish it kind of made that a little bit that jump. It just went. I wish it went a little further into the ridiculousness than it does. Um, but it's 
man, you kind of got to see it to believe it. Because I know we're saying everything is blue, but literally everything is blue. Like it's, we're not exaggerating here. And that's, that, you <laughs> Tony know. Tony Scott's like, oh, that's too much. Yeah. Like in, we, in, in, when this movie was described to me, I, I assumed the person telling me about it was exaggerating. And then I saw it and was like, oh my God, no, she really does have fucking a fucking robot hand that she forgets to charge. You know, like that is, those are lines from this movie. So I think it's worth watching just to kind of witness the car accident that it is. That's how I look at it, you know. So I would recommend it. But, uh, I mean, don't. Really? It, I mean, you know, yeah, because I think it's worth seeing <laughs> for the thing. Was, the, the bubble has burst and Holly, like, just lost a little something. <laughs> really? Really? I thought I knew you. <laughs> I think it's worth watching for the ridiculousness that it is. It's not a good movie, and it is way too long. Uh, that's the thing. It could be awesomely bad if it would cut down on the time a lot. Yeah, maybe. You know, yeah, cut twenty minutes. Out yeah, of that shit. there's a lot of stuff that can be cut out. And if they had gone, like we said, gone full force with the stuff that they set up with her leg and shit. Yeah, made it over the top. Mm-hmm. I would. This movie definitely thinks that. it's smarter than you, though. This movie thinks it's yeah. very smart, <laughs> and that's a that is a little annoying. That yeah. it's how's it's, that going, Hammond? Yeah. Whatever your name is. <laughs> yeah, it it thinks it's a really intelligent movie, and it's really not. And I, it, their influences are so obvious that they're basically ripoffs and not even influences at this point. Um, this is how not to make a movie if you're really inspired by movies. Like this to me makes me feel better about my own capability of making a movie. <laughs> like I'm like, whoa, shit! This got Lindsay Lohan and twelve million dollar budget. I can make a better movie than this. So. I would recommend it for those reasons. You should. I'm inspired. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go home, <laughs> work on my craft. Yeah. I'll tell you what my movie is going to be next week. I'm up next week. Colin! Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what and then we'll come back to watch this. next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, next week, we're going to do a viewer choice. Actually, it was something I was going to do anyway. Uh, a batshit crazy movie starring Sam Neill and Isabella Johnny, and it's called Possession Ooh, we're doing from 1981. Possession. All right, then we're out. Uh, until next week, the basement is going. Oh, we're not going to do the uh, the take it easy? Oh, take yeah. it hard? Oh, yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> take it.